Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Red World Fan Fork mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Union of American People's Republic's Lover, but right now, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with technology, industry, or agriculture, and so far, we have been going ahead with... Agriculture. So, overall, there's more support for agriculture just because you get a permanent focus. We lose some factory output, but you get more division, a lot more division defense on core territory, which we probably won't use very much. Get more population, even though we could have gotten some bonus to industry and stuff like that, but whatever. Agriculture is the lifeblood of the Union. As such, we should modernize the state farms of the Central Valley and divert more laborers there, so that no citizen will ever fear going to bed hungry again. Which sounds like a very good idea, but happy 2013. Also, off screen, what happened was, uh, well, the Soviet Union collapsed. So, as you can see, we have the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic under Vladimir Putin. He has fallen, he's part of the Republican National Conservative Party. Uh, oh, and they, oh! His focus should become a generico one. Okay. Interesting. That is definitely different. And economic improvements. The struggle was long and arduous, but finally the American economy is back on track. With this, American people are pr prosperous like never before as we march ever closer to, to full communism. But yeah, that's interesting. The Warsaw Pact has fallen apart. Literally, well, it hasn't fallen apart. Now it's a European Union, basically, but not really European Union. This is very weird. So who's the leader of... I guess Germany's the leader of the Warsaw Pact. Um, honestly, should they name it to the Berlin Pact? Because at this point, Warsaw is here, but they're not the leaders. Hmm. French Social State, Italian Social Republic, and they're still back here. Yeah, they're fighting these guys. Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, so yeah. Good job, Vladimir, you literally lost it. <laughs> so after that focus, we got, got, got quite a few comments to go through as well, but uh, the second three-year plan... Probably, eventually. I mean, eventually. Over the next few years, we'll be liberating oppressed peoples from Salt Lake City to New York. As such, the bureaucracy could be prepared to integrate a continent's worth of farms and factories into the economy. Eventually. We need a more... Oh. We literally have no steel. What the heck? <sighs> we'll do that for now. It's fine. We're still building up a lot of cities anyway, so it's fine. Whatever. Um. So... Now we can't do any focuses. It's 2013. What's that national spirit? And back in business is very nice. Quotas relaxed. It's a very weird beginning to an episode here. Uh, centralized state. I do like that one. Population growth policy is not bad. Combating inflation. All right. Okay, so three-year plan. What? 2015? So we just have to wait until 2015. Just like World Goals times. Political power. Ooh. I mean, also, I did get this guy. Daniel R. Hokinson. So... Oh, hold on, so before we keep going on here, so what do we have here? March on Salt Lake City to restore the U.S. Across Colorado. Uh, why does it take so long? Why? Why do you paint us so? Um, honestly, I don't think there's going to be a lot here happening since we have to wait so long for that. Why? I should have gone for that with focus as soon as possible with whatever it was for the economy one. That's so long and there's nothing else we can do. Why would they design it like this? Ah, but a couple comments first of all. So, Let's see. Someone says, should we do the Duke Path in the American Republic? Have I done the Duke Path? Oh, this is Jeb Bush. Um, I don't think I have. I might have. I honestly have no idea who I played as when I played as the American Republic. So I do want to come back and play as them. I might do Duke if I haven't done them already. I might have. I might Actually, I might have already. I can't tell. I can't remember. And if I haven't, I will. And if I have, we'll play as someone else. Cool. Uh, let's see. Someone says, I should play as Yemen. Nationalist or government Yemen? Yemen Arab Republic, huh? Well, Al-Isla, al isla T. cool. Um, someone says, to go, for this nation, our American People's Union, Commonwealth, whatever we call it, uh, to go Democratic and, and or Golden Circle, we have to lose Cascadia. Which kind of sucks, I don't like that. We have to lose Cascadia so we can go the Golden Gate League, or Power Struggle Avoided. I kind of don't like that, but it makes some sense, but still, whatever. So, and you guys recommend we go agriculture. Someone says we could get Clint Eastwood to lead California as a democratic centrist or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, honestly. That would, seem, that would actually be really, really cool if we could do that. Uh, we can't do this because there's not enough world attention yet. And we need more, uh, don't need more war support, but we need more world attention. Another comment was, play as Texas and the Red World expanded some on. Now, that sounds cool. I should definitely play as Texas sometime. I'd love to play as Texas. Texas sounds like a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. And then someone says we should do the national path as Cascadia eventually. 
Sometime, sure. Why not? You gotta remind me a couple episodes. I don't think we'll do it immediately, but eventually I would like to play as them, which would be very, very cool. Well, everyone, it's now May 2015. What a weird year. But we're gonna cross to Colorado because, well, we can because we finished up the second three-year plan. But Arizona, that little splotch of desert, refused to join up with our union when it was originally founded. That was a clear error. Yet an error only becomes a mistake if one is unwilling to fix it. This will not become a mistake. And march on Salt Lake next. A step in stone on a quest for unification, the bourgeois government of Utah must be destroyed destroyed and overthrown if we were to liberate all the Americas from the clutches of oppression. Its middle riches will make a fine addition to our economy as well. Also, the American Republic is killing off the Great Lakes Republic, which is doing really well. They cut off Illinois and Missouri, basically, so. I guess it's, we have Chuck Grassley, who's a part of the Republican Party, National Conservative. I think he's from Iowa. I'll be honest, man. I don't know very much about other people in other places. I know stuff, some stuff on the national stage and more stuff than I'd actually like to, more than willing to know, but I'm going to claim ignorance about everything I do here. And, wait, what? They went to war with these guys. Well, it is Hillary Clinton. I guess Jeb Bush probably doesn't like Hillary Clinton. Then again, they might actually really like each other. Because you never know. Politicians are all, all the same, pretty much. But, in Lincoln's name, the Hermit Kingdom of North America is not just an oppressive, genocidal, fascist dictatorship. It also tarnishes the name of Abraham Lincoln himself. The American people's army must put down this abomination post haste liberate its people, and bring its leaders to justice. Might as well, as you can tell, we we're already sneaking in and doing a little dirty thing to Phoenix, Arizona, but that's all right. I like it like that. All right, let's go in and see what we can do. We're winning immediately. That'd be very nice. Do we have any air superiority? We should. We got some smart bullets, though. It's very nice. Smart, smart bullets of 2015. And cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, heck, some better tanks. Because we would like to use tanks eventually, so. Overall casualties, 91 versus 1,000. 2,000? Not bad. Arizona has how many divisions? Up to 10. We have 40. And these guys are either Mountaineers, uh, 14 combat with motorized, which are okay, which we're trying to expand upon as well. Phoenix is falling, which is nice, 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 nice. We got the Sapper done for Mexico, which is great, 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 great. We're doing uh, Canada as well. So overall, not too bad. I would like to make it guys a little thicker. But I did throw on some anti-air for our infantry divisions, which would be pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll see what happens. Losses, 15... Oh, that's quite a few. 15,000. We lost quite a few guys, actually. That's all right. We need the army XP, so... Nice! Thank you, Aramazona. Utah, you're next. Hopefully we can do well against these guys. Lee E. Tana, Tafanelli. Scavenger. Let's go Fortress Buster. Cool. Interrogation techniques. Cool. We got plenty of peepee. -pee. Plenty, 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 plenty of peepee. -pee. We're going to need more uh, resident conscription level 2, which sucks. That's right. Integrate Arizona territories. Yes, please. About 30 days. Reunite America eventually. Oh, we can't go to extensive conscription yet. Darn it. Get some cav here as well, just because we're going to need it. We're going to need a lot of things here, actually. Still training our navy. Let's go ahead and move over here eventually. March on Salt Lake, and then in Lincoln's name, of course. How strong are the Mormons now? That's a very good question to ask. Led by Mike Leavitt. No manpower. That's good. Uh, they do have a certain number of divisions that we don't know about. Corporate A. Wow. 30% more factory output. Fiscal economics, strength, and military is pretty good for them as well. Corporate stuff. Traditional values. That's pretty, that's pretty strong. Supply focus and American isolation. Cool. Anything else? Another division is always very, very good. And I think it's name. And let's see how well we do here. Maybe you will, maybe not. War comes to ours. In just a short moment, the People's Army will march from one coast to another. In the process, we'll gain hundreds of millions of new citizens. To keep our armies on track and ensure the smoothest integration of our newest comrades, each army regiment will be assigned a commissar. Nice. More division speed and planning speed. Not bad. Not the most useful, but hey, we'll still take it. Gladly, gladly, gladly still take it. We're doing really well against Mormons here. 2,000, oh my gosh, 49, oh, 50,000 dead already. Wow, very nice. Come on, Truckerinos, go to Ogden. And then Rock Springs, never mind, you already won. Well, I guess we're up here next, too. See what we can do, and begin corn Utah and Territories. Yay! We definitely need more manpower. Oh, I should have raised a conscription level, but then again, we did go to early mobilization. We need more world attention, but as long as we go to war with Lincoln, we should be okay. Um, the American Republic. Got lucky that LeVar Stoney isn't really wanting to go to war with these guys, but eh, we'll see. War against Mexico is probably going to suck. Let's see. Simplest power control is not bad. Uh, get some logistics. It's fine. Go ahead. How much lightnings do we have? None. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> get over here. Actually, no. We'll finish off the line doctor first and go back to the industry and such. Cool. How many planes do we have? Can we duplicate this? No, we cannot. Dang, we don't have any extra planes. I like the extra planes, though. Should be able to go, go to war pretty soon as well. We did court Arizona, which is nice. Air Force Department, go anti-partisan stuff. 
We could use more encryption and decryption as well, but whatever. Cool. That stuff is all good. Industry 2015. Get some more output as well, because you can. Very, 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 very nice. Just in case for them carriers and such. What do we have here? Ah, I should have duplicated these guys earlier. That's fine. Whatever. There you go. Gar. And unfortunately, we'll have to remove quite a bit of army XP that we do get already. Whatever. That'll save us on a lot of equipment, hopefully. And I got some core commissars. Thank you very much. So now that we'll go to war with Lincoln. For, for Lincoln. Can we do this at all? No, we cannot. That's not very good for them. Oops. Wasn't going to get rid of the Mountaineers, but whatever. I can't imagine these guys to be too difficult. One to five divisions. That's pretty nice. Uh, order the Midwest. Liberate Montana. The repugnant ideology of white nationals will take many paces, and yet it remains the same. Montana. That mess of racist militias. It must be brought down. We should not rest until our flag flies over all of the towns and cities. How long does this one take? 250 days? About three weeks? That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty easy to take them out, so. Let time go on. Very, very nice. Do that as well. Getting a lot more territory here. And go and start coring the Lincoln, Lincolnian, Lincolnian territories. Yes, please. Go and trade as well. Very, very good. Uh, cool. Get some of those tanks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get some more artillery. Thank you very much. We're getting more millies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Better light tanks. Yes, please. Let's see. Go with five. I do want to get some big old thick things with tanks. Not bad over here at all. Uh, what do we need, actually? Rubber? Wow. Okay, yeah. We need quite a bit more rubber and chromium. And that's okay. Boom, boom. Boom. Liberate Montana. We're going to core all this territory before we have to fight any other big boys. After this one, uh, we're in the Midwest. Uh, the Midwest Union is practically a failed state. And every day, refugees pour out from its borders. We must restore peace and order to the Midwest and put its lush farmland to use for the liberation of the American people. Absolutely. 38% world tension. Come on. We won't get a partial mobilization. Please, please, please. South for Canada is done. Awesome. Cryptology. Uh, American Republic is probably going to do next. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just in case. You never know. Why is Chicago the capital? That seems like a bad idea. Especially you should have New York City or Philadelphia as a capital, but whatever. Order the Midwest next, yes please. Oh, do we court yet? We must have court it, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not a lot of population here, obviously, but oh, there goes the Midwest Union. Well that sucks for them. I guess we'll go to war, war of the American Republic next. Liberty Illinois, March of Superior. Yeah. March to Atlanta. Not bad, not bad. Alright, you guys can stop training, get ready to go to war. And oh we we already have light armored, that's not bad. Go get 10 there. Mountain brigades are not great. Not bad. Can't quite do that. So throw on some more artillery then. It's fine. Even better artillery. Nice. Order the Midwest. Better anti air. Cool. Should do fine here without too many issues. Restored military prowess? No. Doesn't help them on defense. Wow, did they do like last stand? Huh. Uh, Liberty, Illinois. Illinois, as small and unremarkable as it is, stands at the crossroads of both their major rivals. We shall snuff out their irrelevance and put an end to the petulant bourgeois democracy that supplants the power from St. Louis. We got a manpower. Yeah, it sucks. We got plenty of guns, though. Need a little bit more anti-air, though. Let's go up to three. That'd be fine with us. More drones, stuff like that. Three bueno. About a thousand losses versus nine thousand, ten thousand. Not bad. And integrate them territories. Oh, yes. It seems like there's a lot of states we can core, but all those populations, not very much. Happy 2016, though, everybody. Sounds like an election year to me. AC automation. Not bad, not bad. Get some more extraction because you can. Ooh, that's looking really good now. Civvy civvies. Uh, go a little bit nuclear. Get uh, some research centers, which I don't know what the research centers does. It doesn't say it gives you any sort of real cost. Hospital? Sure, why not? We'll do some building of hospitals here too. What does that even do? Like, it doesn't give us any hard numbers, which I don't like, but partial mobilization, yes please, thank you. We can build even more now. More fuel, yes, yes. Duplicate uh, the fighters, yes. That'd be nice. I want more drones, though. I want to bomb all the children. Like what? Order in the Midwest is fine, even though we can't do that anymore. Liberate Illinois. And then we'll march to Superior. 
A great elected republic is elected a socialist government in 2001, but despite its lofty promises, it failed to go much further than just a partial transition towards socialism. In the light of their failures, we must finish what was started and bring socialism to the Great Lakes. Nice. How strong are you guys here? Oh, you have no manpower, do you? Oh, you know you got plenty of manpower. Jeb Bush got a lot of manpower. Hmm, we'll see what happens. How many divisions they got? They have, but they're not coring anything. Decryption police. Amworks. A Christian nation. Christian values. So you got plenty of manpower. Not sure what the stockpile is like, but they have a lot of a lot of resistance. Traders in Utah. Ooh, they might actually go to war with us next. Yeah, 41%. How are they not... Oh, due to insufficient gas. Maybe they're out, out of infantry equipment. Maybe that's a deal. War goal against Midwest Union. Well, we can't do that one. So after liberate Illinois, the Great Lakes. Then we have all this stuff. And then I guess it's this side. And then we're done with the campaign, I guess, we're well. Uh, limited exports. Wouldn't be too bad to do, but... Hmm. We're already pretty good on what we're building already. Don't really want to lower it just yet. Could get some more millies, I suppose. That's well, not bad. It would be pretty nice. How are the ships doing? Still training? Good. Yeah, just go and go and repair. It's fine with us. Liberate Illinois. Marsh Superior. And then liberate Texas. We want to march to Atlanta immediately. A time has come while the old U.S. was swept away by the tides of history in 19, 1987. This vestigial republic has somehow managed to hold out for almost 30 years more. It was approved to be the mere postponement. Uh, and we shall emancipate the peoples of the South at long last. Nice. I wouldn't mind going to war economy, but we won't, definitely won't be able to get there. There's not enough world tension right now, so. Yeah, we definitely need to go to limited conscri uh, extensive conscription. Yeah. Once we go to war with the American Republic, we should be able to do so. So. Great Lakes. Great, great, great lakes. Lots of civvies. How are the Millies doing? Go up to five, maybe? Yeah, we can lower by three, that's fine. We have more than enough guns for a long booty time. So that's the case. I want more drones. Come to the bottom. You cab. We'll stop at like three. I don't know how much we really need that. So the light tanks will be a lot more fun to have. Uh, mounted brigades, infantry. They're only twenty combat, but twenty combat might be just good enough for us, anyways. Support equipment wise, we got more than enough. Light tanks. We won't have enough to throw an armored recon here, which sucks. So how about motorized recon? We we'll have enough for that. That's fine. Just because we can. Cool. And get some more fuel because we don't need it. And then... 16. Oh, that's a little bit ahead of time. March Superior. March to Atlanta. Liberate Texas, even though we can't really do that. Everything is bigger in Texas, they say. That goes for national sentiment, too. And despite the many defeats suffered by Texas, the Lone Star flag still waves proudly. We must intervene soon, lest the Texas people will be too lost to the poison of nationalism. Even though they're technically already gone, so... Oh, well. Not bad. 1.12 thousand is not bad, but... This, seriously, does this just do anything? We've been in Las Vegas. How long will that take? Till June... It's not bad. That's pretty quick, actually. Less than a month. It's pretty good. Uh, fighters, we need more of. Carry fighters are fine. You can have are fine. Drones, we need way more drones, which sucks, but whatever. Um, do you do anything else? Ooh. We have eight chips. That's not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Could be a lot better, actually. It's alright, though. Uh, flight tech manager is fine. Um, honestly, I like this stuff. I've never really used torpedo bombers or dive bombers for cast. Just because 20% is super, really kind of nice. It's actually really strong. Advanced fire base is nice. I just don't want to invade and I just have to deal with all that resistance. My goodness, that's so much. Better already is very, very good. Well, there's so much for war commerce ours. Honestly, we'll probably just go to war with both at the same time. Yeah, we literally might as well. Go cool. Liberate Texas. Going both off. Oh, they immediately attack us. Cool. Yeah, look at the. They're not. They're not that strong. This they shouldn't be. So. Should be fine doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sure, guys. I don't really care. 
And 2017 is the next one. We have tactical bombers, so we'll go that way. March to Philadelphia? Despite the high hopes held for the Northeastern Revolution, the so called industrial workers of the world proved inept to bring, bring about socialism, and instead created some Frankenstein of capitalism and syndicalism, incapable of truly emancipating the working class. We must bring an end to the pseudo socialist experiment and let the red flag of liberty wave from sea to shining sea. There we go, now we can go to extensive conscription. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord. And pass the ammunition, which is not the correct saying we should say here for playing as a red nation, but that's alright. Oh, come on, we can't see how many losses we've had. What is this? Uh, Illinois, Midwest Union, well, they've both gone, so it doesn't matter. 316 Olympic Games, sound like fun. Too bad we're not going to really be doing too much with that. Let's get some better recon, maybe. Yes, please, yes, yes. There we go, we got some manpower now. Oh, I need a little more anti-air, too, huh? They do have some air, which sucks. But we're doing okay against them. Yeah, except for the Southwest, but whatever. We don't talk about that. The Great Lakes are doing quite well, though, but if we can capitulate these guys first, that'd be good. Fine with us. That'd be fine. Fine, fine with us. Liberate Tejas. Cool. And now we're done with our... Dang it. we got nothing else to do here now. Dang it. I don't like that. You find them, you shoot them. There you go. It's as easy as that. As easy as one, two, three. Why is it called R1? Are they actually pushing us out? Huh. Well, the goal is to get rid of the Texas group first, so or the these guys here. It's all right. It's all right. Happens. Capitulate them. Cut these guys off. That'd be great. Keep these guys in place. Good. 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 Yeah, we're going to be having a little bit more of a struggle with the Great Lakes Republic, which is fine. You know, whatever. Still. Hey, down to Houston. Nice. Oh boy. Oh man, we do a lot of damage to him. Oh what? Some of these guys are really killing themselves here. Why are you killing yourself up here? Like, I, I want to be aggressive and all, but like, don't kill yourself completely. Chuck Rassi, that ain't easy to beat. These guys definitely are easy to beat. Very strange. These guys we cannot win against, but the guys down south we can. Which means we probably make, make these guys 40 count with, maybe. Let's see. Should be able to pierce this division, right? Yeah. Of course, I'd love to see how much manpower these guys are, or how much. I just will capitulate them quickly, then take up the Great Lakes as a combined force, so. My gosh, 85%. Jesus Christ. Hold on, hold on. We need the spy here to put down a lot of resistance. Jesus. That's so much. How do you guys suck so much that you have so much resistance like that? Baton Rouge. It'll be a while before we can pitch at these guys, though, which sucks. Here's what we're going to do. Um... I don't want to lose this front, but I don't want to keep attacking, so you guys do that. So all I want you to do just hold, hang out, hold out. Because we've lost a lot of guys here. It's kind of ridiculous. It's been extreme, actually, how many guys we've actually lost. So do that. That'll be better for us. We don't lose nearly as many men because we've lost a lot of guys. 100,000, maybe? Two, a quarter million. That's ridiculous. So you guys get yourself organized here. We'll keep pushing this way. You guys just defend up here. You just take it easy. Um, let's go logistics too. Anti air is fine. Get some light armored recon. It's fine. You guys are fine for now. Recon threes. Get some more engineers. These guys get some more planning done. Just don't attack for now, because my gosh. Iowa is so bad. Let these guys kill each other off some more, too. This compliance is going up, hopefully. 0. 0.6 goes down to 0. 0.5. 0. 0.2 goes up to 0. 0.3. Yes, yes. Woo! 
Whew. Actually, put down resistance here. Help put down resistance for now. We don't need that PP. There you go. So this should drop a little faster. 0.9 goes to 0.7, hopefully. 0.8. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Resistance spread from Missouri. Oof. Resistance to K, compliance, resistance suppression. Root out resistance mission. Hmm. Oof. Now go ahead. You should be able to win. Force rotation. In the south, we should do okay. Midwest, maybe not so much. Oh, I got the ciphers done. I forgot about the ciphers. Great Lakes, now I'm gonna wait for that. Ooh. Gotta wait longer. Yeah, we'll definitely have to use that cipher up there, so. You guys doing okay still? Good, good, good. Nice. Keep going, take off New Orleans, and they won't have any supplies left, which would be good. California, what do you got for us? Lots of nothing. Okay. Oh, the tails have been cut off. That's good. Yeah, they're out of guns. They can't really do too much now, can they? Two divisions, huh? Um, either you win or they win. No either or. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff we got to build here. Get both some of this stuff, too. Cool. There you go. So, what we're going to do here... There you go. All of them come down here. Go ahead on in. I'll actually let you three stay here too. To help hold the line. So, kill them off too. You guys should be fine. Only 24 divisions max, but whatever. You should be able to win here, anyways. It's a big old river, I know, but still. You honestly probably should be helping out. There you go. Get to Atlanta. Get to Atlanta. We're close to Florida. go. Help them out. Sometimes all we do need is just a little bit of help. Logistics 2, go Logistics 3 because you can. Good, so we have Atlanta. We're about to have Jacksonville as well. Nice. There we go. Again, Jacksonville, Atlanta. Uh, what's the cap of Miami? Is Miami the capital next, or... Engineers are nice. MK-16 is not bad. Um, not really sure what's left for these guys. So 354 is okay. We've got more manpower now, which is nice. After this, we'll have enough manpower to core everything, pretty much, so... Should be fine for the rest of the campaign, but you never know. Port St. Lucie. Fort Lauderdale. Nice. Ah, Raleigh. I wish we could see how much damage we've done. Oh, we got him. Nice. Good, 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 good. All right, come on back. Now we got this. Now we'll concentrate our attacks. Now we'll make these guys 40 combo widths. We're not going to have a lot of supplies, are we? No, we're not. That's alright. Three, four. Infantry, and then infantry. How much are we out now? A lot of anti air, but honestly, not as bad as I thought it would be. All we have is UK. That sucks. Oh, you guys are fighting now. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Oh, integrated Texan territories, integrated American Republic territories, that's good. Uh, since you're here anyways, you guys come over here too. Where's Collinson? And they'll kill off these guys too, so. Reason suppression would be nice, but we gotta do move to March to Philadelphia. Followed up with uh, foreign policy, because we'll take those guys as well. After liberating the oppressed American peoples, our union stands poised to dominate the entire continent. 
Paradise Hotel Heist. Now, the now infamous or famous uh, Paradise Hotel in Las Vegas was the target of a spectacular heist last month with unimaginable losses reported. According to police, who were unexpectedly late to respond to the scene, unknown thieves gained access to the highly guarded vault around midnight when the casino was packed with thousands of visitors. Publicly, police seem to have no idea how these master thieves entered the vault, while it is one of the most secure in the world, but anonymous sources have suggested they were aided by a mole on the inside. The events of last night represent a terrible loss for the Paradise Hotel, not only in monetary value, but in relations with the public and government. If the establishment can't be trusted to secure visitors' hard-earned money or the revenue funneled directly back to the central government in California, then its chances of remaining open and thriving for decades to come are slim. Increased security and personal, personal vetting across the board. Oh, that sucks, bro. Fuel is nice, which I didn't realize that was only for fuel. There you go. Do a lot of that stuff, too. There we go. Are we poised to go? Well, our soldier's not all up there yet. Soon, but not yet. Oh my gosh, there's so much resistance here. Advanced fire bases are nice. We got some of that too. Three, two, one. Just go in if you can. Probably a bad idea. More breakthroughs, really nice though. Nice. Can't win everywhere, but. Alright, we got him. Don't know if we deserve all this, but. Uh, we'll see. Who's this? Federation of American Syndicates? It's a lot of score we're gonna need, but that's alright. I'm not gonna give anything to the other people because I don't really care about them, so. We're gonna have to kill them off, anyways. Yeah, almost there. Good, 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 good. More stuff here, huh? Do we really need more guns? More anti-air and fighters, so anti-air, there you go. And then fighters, there you go. I mean, battle tanks, light tanks, normal stuff. Oh, and core that stuff too. At least, it's fine. Core all that stuff, that'd be good. Armor brigades, heavy tanks, well, we got light tanks. Um, These, oh, those are main light. Okay, whatever. Let's go with both. Mix them up, I guess. Um, armor recon, logistics, art, uh, art anti air, artillery is fine. Go with two. Go with four. Uh, we're still building stuff up here in about five days. March to Philadelphia. Nice. And then come back down here and do this. This is good. Because I'm sure we've got plenty, plenty, plenty of resistance for a while. Oh, we actually military police. That's nice. Garsons. Military police. Yeah, let's get some more support coming too first as well. You never know. We might need that. I'll go with that many. That'll be fine too. And just tons of these guys. Look at that manpower. It's beautiful. There you go. Fighters, drones are nice. Any extra fighters does not look like it. UCAB, just in case. Nice. Now I'll come over here. Don't die, please. You'll be fine. And can we go in? With plenty of manpower? Oh! Union of Revolutionary Nations. They're all over the world, so... And we need them to die, so... Whatever. Yeah, there's actually one there immediately. Uh, nothing there, really. Ooh. it's a lot of reds. How about y'all hold? They're probably gonna attack us like crazy. Yeah. It'll be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Give them some time. They will be attacking us. Do ships arrive yet? No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there they go. Oh wow. Yeah, you're not allowed to lose yet. Um, oh, it's still glitched. Dang it, I wish you could see how much manpower they had. We've lost 385,000 in the last couple months. Sucks. Um, uh, 
Uh, we got a lot of infantry equipment. No artillery. Interesting. Two type of templates, though. Ship wise, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm not sure how we're supposed to be able to win here. They have 10 divisions, and we have nowhere near as many as they do. Alright, it's gonna be more difficult than I thought. Oh, they're definitely pushing us out. Wow. Help shore up the line a little bit. Oh, do not get him circled there. Low echelon support. You should be able to win here. No, they killed off the division. Are you kidding me, man? That's so stupid. How are we supposed to win against these guys? I'm glad we put anti-air on in our divisions, but still. Yeah, we just lose immediately. Holy crap. Uh. Some more millies, I guess. Need way more divisions, though. As long as no one navally invades us, please, 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 for the love of God. Alright, just deploy him early. I don't care. Ooh, we should probably should deploy him on this side, but whatever. Um, 2017. Some more upload just in case. Stockpile wise, they're still, still doing really well here. We haven't really sunk anybody. Hopefully, no, they, nobody made any sort of navy. Ooh. It's a fluctuating map, but they might have mobilized more. I can't really tell yet. Oh, I'll have to over here. Oh, that's fine. Great North American section. Who cares? Uh, still working on that stuff. American syndicates are still working on that stuff. Operations. Nothing really there yet. I would like to make a collaboration government if we can, so we need more intelligence. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Makes sense. God dang, they love attacking so much. Oh, we actually won. Nice. But it doesn't move fast enough. I'm not super worried about it, but this is not good, man. It's not a good look. Passive defense is nice. Recruit in Canada. Doesn't matter. Bangers. Get more land at attack. Shock and all is very good as well. Heart attack and piercing would be very good, too. Well, they're definitely slowly losing manpower, which is good to see, but... Now, how am I supposed to compete with 19 divisions? Seriously, bro. Bro. Seven divisions there. Six divisions there. Five divisions over there. My goodness. Like, how? In what world are we supposed to be able to compete with these guys? Need some more rubber? Alright, that's fine. We got the space for it. Uh oh. They yeah, actually sent something nice. Cool. Passive defense. Crypt a little bit more, maybe. Are these guys even more? Do we have anything in spare? Let's take a look. Drones. We're honestly, probably gonna get shot down, but we could try it. Oh, you're on this side of the... It's fine. You know, bomb their uh, airports, maybe. I don't know if they're really going to do anything very much, but alright, we can try it. They are hurting themselves quite a bit, though, which is really nice to see. 156 divisions, alright. They have some anti-tank. It's good to see how we can see how much they have of uh, some stuff. 88,000, that's so quite a bit. Um, Can't quite see that one either. Keep doing some of that stuff as well, as long as they can't break us. They've been losing some more manpower. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Cool.
cool. Blast explosives, psychological stuff. Yeah, they're definitely hurting themselves in some areas here. Um. Can you actually take Evansville? Nope. Bruh, that sucks. Alright. Um, we can try somewhere else, like here-ish. See what we can do about that. They might be able to pierce us really easily. Let's see. Nice. Do we do Mexico already? Yeah, we did. That kind of sucks. I got it. I don't really care too much. We need more manpower. Just well, it's fine. Cool. Exoskeletons are awesome. Did you even do anything here? So many bodies. Can you actually win here? Or we force the attack? <laughs> as soon as the tanks are deployed, we just like sacrifice them completely. Yeah, if you sacrifice them, yeah, you can win. Let them stay there for now. That must have been a lot of losses. I mean, they keep attacking us, which is nice and all, but still. Alexander Juliet. Oh man, that's pretty brutal fighting. The very many sporadic attacks. 157 divisions. Not really losing too much there. They're, they're, they're slowly running out of manpower. Slowly run out. Slowly run out. Because I did see in the fo rest of the focus tree. Uh, we don't need to do suppression anymore. Maybe air production. Yeah, air production. Because over here, we can take out Canada and Mexico with this plan. We can't go with join the Warsaw Pact because it doesn't exist. Uh, liberate Mexico, Canada, Central America. March along the Andes, liberate Argentina, liberate Brazil, the Forgotten Nations. I mean, we could. We could, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. There you go. There you go. I'm surprised that they're not attacking up here, though. Especially with 10 divisions up here. That's quite a few, right? I mean, like... That is quite a few. Wow, we need a ton more already now. Cool, makes sense. Good number, good number like 10, that not much. Boost it up. More planes would be nice. Main battle tanks. Armor, don't even want to see that. Light armor divisions are fine. Uh, so how many light tanks do we have? 600, so that's not bad. If you tank armored cars. Oh, do you anything for us? Logistics? It's not bad. Defensive and throw planner would be next, but 2018 Inter Olympic Games. Okay, whatever. Could you guys like all go into here and try to kill these guys off? Yeah, if you force the attack, no step back. Extremely brutal fighting. There we go, we got it. Even extremely brutal for them too, so. That's 2018. There we go. And I guess you can do that too, I suppose. My goal is to get to Chicago. Really? The goal is to get to here and then cut them around that way. That's really my goal. And we could go to Detroit as well, but that's a river line's gonna be pretty difficult. Pretty difficult to take out. I'm um, honestly at this point just screw it. Make some more heavies. But we're gonna throw some lights in there too. Because we don't have enough tanks for all this stuff. There we go. Alright, so main battle tanks. We're gonna need quite a few more. 
or millies in general. What supplies do we need right now? We're actually okay-ish. We need some more rubber eventually, but that's okay. Um, do boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. We'll be fine. Three, two. Let's see if we can win here. Probably not. We'll do the best we possibly can. And suicide him in. Nothing like a good suicide. Nice. She insisted. All I want to do is surround him. Come on, man. We need two tiles. And then we can win the war. They're starting to run out of equipment as well. They've, they've lost a lot of guys. No, we've lost a lot of guys as well. Uh, oh, not that many. Not as many as I thought we would have, but that's okay. Oh, we have green air here. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, we did have green air. God dang it. Six divisions, huh? Hope you guys are ready to pucker up, because we're going to start losing some serious guys around here. Actually, we've already been losing a lot of serious guys. You die for the cause, it's a cause worth dying for. Come on, you should be able to win here. Alright, so we God dang it, can they not win there? My god. Yeah, that's why I don't like Koi 4 sometimes. They just get really death stacky. It's not fun doing it when they're just all death stacks. You know? You know what I mean? You think. Superior firepower would be the way forward. Obviously not. And again, probably get some better tanks too. There you go. Nice. Mm. Oh, we lost that tile, huh? Six down here. Could we actually win here, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but this is stupid. The Northeast is, is not that strong. They could not take on the entire, basically, America. Continental America versus by themselves. They're not that strong. I mean, New York City's pretty strong, but... Philadelphia's pretty strong, but other than that, Boston? Mm, I don't know, man. Of course, they do have Ohio as well, and Detroit. And Chicago. Does make sense, somewhat, but still. We have a singular tank division, because we lost everyone else. Because Alexander Juliet kind of sucks, not going to lie. She kind of sucks. Uh, there's really not much we can do. Honestly, I, I'm not interested in taking these guys out. So this is a fun episode you can tell from the title. I'm just not interested in taking out everyone else. So, the Great American War. Bennett walks around the world. Frontiers cannot bar him. Neither barracks nor barricades impede. Nor does a barbed wire uh, uh, scar him. Lennon walks around the world. Black, brown, white receive him. Language is no barrier. The strongest tongues, strangest tongues believe him. Lennon walks around the world, the sun sets like a scar between the darkness and the dawn, there rises a red star. Alright, that's very nice, very nice. Now for this one, we're going to keep going with this stuff too. Uh, more divisions, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Liberate Mexico. Mexico is one of America's two neighbors and one with whom we have a history of warring. While the war in 1848 was one of brutal imperial aggression, this time will be one of emancipation, and we carry the red banner to the halls of Montezuma and beyond. Liberate Canada. Our northern neighbor Canada remains a bastion of capitalism in a red world, destination of many capitalists fleeing the rightful retribution of the American people, and leader of the so-called Democratic League, Canada must be brought low if socialism is to thrive in the Americas. Honestly, if we try to attack them here, we could possibly win, so. Do we have any more soldiers up here? We sort of do, actually. If you all attack at the same time, you would all still lose, probably, right? Suicide pills, yummy. I'm not interested in doing some of those focuses. I don't know. Out of the grind that this is, not really interested in doing some of them, so. Uh, so liberate Central America. Long regarded as a mere banana or plantation for the U.S., Central America has taken its first steps towards socialism thanks to Ortega's revolution. The town's right to complete his work and include all of Amer Latin America in a union of equal nations. Uh, march along the Andes, the Andes Mountains. Home to all sorts of capitalists, fascists, and revisionists. For socialist America, none of these must be allowed to persist. And spread the counter-revolutionary influence on the continent. The People's Army will ensure that justice is brought from north to south of Latin America. 
Liberate Argentina. Opa so Ernesto Che Guevara. Guevara. Uh, Argentina has, has been historically been a socialist country before foolishly straying from the path and embracing the poison and gift of capitalism. We'll bring them back into the proper course and make Commandant Che proud. Liberate Brazil. It's the largest country in South America and our union cannot possibly be complete before union Brazil's added to it. More than 200 million comrades await the People's Army and we cannot let them down as we get ever closer to the culmination of our greatest work. The Forgotten Nations. The Great American War is almost to an end and only a few stragglers remain before we can truly say that the banner of, oh crap, of labor flies from pole to pole. The ending chapter of capitalism in the Americas is, begin, is being written and will pen the final sentence. Yeah. Nice. Not bad. Good. Oh, look. More tanks, huh? Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not interested in taking them all out. Oh, we could, but that's pretty much the end of the focus tree. Uh, operations. Rescue operative. Thank you. Don't get me wrong, I love it when they just keep attacking, 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 but still. Boy, y'all take a lot to do. Get up here. I don't know if I really call it light armored anymore. Yeah, I need a lot more tanks, though. Woo. And artillery. No attack here, force the attack, probably lose a lot of guys. Six divisions, easier to take out the nine, but. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we can try it. And your armor is 40.2. Alright, not bad so far. Can't pierce us, which is nice. And are we in? We should be in. There you go, nice. Good stuff. So we now should move around. Capital's been cut off. So we'll give them some time. Ooh. Nice. So they should... They should also get a lot of supplies. But now that they're suffering slowly, 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 slowly... We should be okay. Nice. There we go. Don't have to deal with you anymore. Thank you. Good. Keep heading down here. Even better tanks are very nice. Need some chromium, huh? Two's not going to be enough. We're going to need another two on top. Oh, we got a lot of drones, don't we? Honestly. Let's keep going here. Do some seaboard, that's fine too. Nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. Should help us out quite a bit. Now, since you're here, hopefully we can create a collaboration government, maybe. Especially as they're starving, so... Oh, we can't do that yet. God dang it. Wait, what? Oh, the times. I thought it was the Mexicans. I'm like, oh god, no, not the Mexicans. Whew. Samoa, huh? Sure, guys. Sure, it's fine with us. Are they leaving? Or do they leave? They? Okay, let's go in. Alright, I guess cryptology time. I don't care about this area here. Honestly, don't even... Uh, just move in as much as you possibly can and attack and destroy and kill them all off as fast as possible. I'm not sure where the divisions went, but that's okay with us. As long as Chicago doesn't, Chicago doesn't fall, please, please get Detroit. Please, please, please. Strip them down to nothing. Uh, how, much, how, strong, how strong are they? 138 divisions. Wow. They started with over a million, like over 1.7 million. Now they're down to like basically nothing. Nice stuff. 
Still getting more manpower back, but that's alright. Chicago is still not falling, even though they're literally all dying. Whatever. There must have raised a conscription level, because the manpower is going up now. It's fine, whatever. Why do we need to go to the water? Cool. It's, mad. it's too bad we can't really see how much... How many casualties we've inflicted. Kinda sucks, not gonna lie. Only a carrier here, which sucks, which means we'll lose our capital ships probably pretty quickly. Come on, get the carrier in there, come on. God dang, that third line. That line, trying to get these guys in here takes forever. Sink them, sink them. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Oh, we found the capital ship too. Oh. Oh, they have a lot of capital ships. Oh, not capital ships, screens. Not bad. Pretty nice, pretty decent. I'm going to repair. Uh, I thought it was a Huey Long class, not Huey Newton. And that's why I always go with fighter director. Ooh, blue water expert's not bad too, but this fighter efficiency, making sure that no one else can contest our planes and such, is super important. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, they have a lot of convoys. Yeah, it's really disappointing that we can't see, like, how these guys are doing. Like, I want to see this. How many minutes have we lost in the past two months? Twelve years, I mean. Twelve months. Twelve months. Edison, not bad. No manpower. Good. Infantry equipment still have plenty, so no artillery, which is good to see. Anyone else have upgrades? No? Cool. Oh, look at this. Ooh, combo, yay. Oh, another task force sunk? I hope so. I love thinking enemy task forces. He's learning a lot, though. Well, oh, he's learning, at least. This person's not learning a lot, though, which is kind of disappointing. That's right, they're, out of, they're pretty much out of stuff anyway, so... Any damage to do, we cannot, they cannot really replace, including manpower, so... Plenty of max... Uh, hello. They do be stacking up a lot of divisions here, though. Quite a bunch of stackers. Nice. That took a lot longer than I thought it would be. It's alright, though. It happens. I do the New Englanders so they cannot bomb us back. Oh, the cows been cut off again. Nice. Great. We won! Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yep, I guess we're taking more than American land. Yeah, I'll be honest though. I'm not really interested in taking out the rest of the world of America. It doesn't sound like a lot of fun right now, so. We could, but I got other things to do. And, I mean, it's just taking them out and the focus tree is done, so. Holy crap. Italy. Why do we take out Italy? Wait, they're not considered a major power? Well, I think they are. I think they were just fighting someone else, but we'll take them anyways, because we can. Need a lot of score for them. Yep, now we're in America. Or, we are America, but... Nice. Union of American stuff? integrate them might as well but yeah I think I don't think there's really much else here like I could be wrong but like I don't think we get a second tree here which would be nice oh wait what the United States are back you just gotta wait until this is done um that takes a while anyways I'll be honest I don't really care about it right now too much I don't want to fight those guys anyways so um maybe we'll wait a few days yeah, it's a couple weeks I don't want to wait any longer so let's see any cons commands FA I'm just not interested in doing this We could do it, but whatever. Hey, but I think that's going to be the end of the campaign there, though. Uh, thank you very much. And America's pretty much back. Union of American People's Republic. We could take out Mexico, but I'm not really interested. It's Mexico. You know, whatever. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.